good morning expatriates and international students and welcome to my channel good morning expat this is poor and on popular demand i am here with a mini series of short videos on cost of living in milano which is a very important subject for future and existing expatriates and international students in milan Now if you look up on the internet you will find many different estimates of monthly cost of living in Milan but I have compiled these estimates based on my personal experience of living as an expatriate in Milan over the last 8 years. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find an apartment or a house in Milan as you're ready to move here as an international student or as an expatriate. I have been frequently requested by many of my loving subscribers to create a video with some tips and tricks on how to find a nice apartment in Milan as they're ready to move here as an expatriate or as an international student, but also to create a cost estimate of the initial expenditure that one is likely to incur when you book or reserve an apartment, especially online, and eventually when you're ready to move in. When you're about to move into Milan as an international student or as an expatriate, most likely you will start your research online and there are some key research terms that you can keep in mind which can be useful for you. Like Afito Apartamenti or Apartamenti in Afito or Case in Afito or Case or Apartamenti per Studenti. When you're looking for rental options online, you will get mainly two types of results. The first type will be of rental websites or real estate agency websites which are looking to rent out a house or an apartment for the long or medium term. Typically, such listings come with a, a long-term contract which can be a 3 plus 2 contract or even a 4 plus 4 contract. In this case, the landlord is posting himself or there's a real estate agency posting on behalf of the landlord. But the idea is to rent out a place for the medium or long term, like I said, which is 3 plus 2 or the 4 plus 4 contract. <laughs> Such contracts, because of their long-term nature, also require a bigger security deposit, say for three months. And often the real estate agency's fee can be very high as well. It is often in the range of 15 to 20 percent of the annual rent, so easily a few thousand euros. And therefore, on top of this, you might be paying like a one-time fee for cleaning and other things as well. So the overall cost that you might incur to rent an apartment for a long period can easily be a few thousand euros between like 1500 to 4000 euros, which might not be a very adequate solution for an international student or an expatriate if you're planning to move here for the short period. These listings, of course, can be handy for people who are, let's say, expatriates going to move here in Milan on a long-term job assignment, let's say, for four to five years. There are many websites in this category like Mio Afito, Immobiliare.it, Casa.it, uh, Throwit.it as well, Idealista.it, which is a very popular one. And you can find many apartment listings or house listings of this type on these websites easily. Some of these websites also have short-term rental options, but the majority will be uh, those that are actually renting out with a traditional long-term rental contract. The second type of search result that you will get will be for short-term rental companies or short-term rental websites. Since most expats and international students are initially looking for a short-term rental solution when they're about to move into Milan, these are the type types of websites or companies that you're actually looking for. These companies or websites specialize in rental solutions which can be for short periods like six months to two years and often don't include very stringent conditions which are typical of long-term rental contracts. In this category of rental solutions or companies, you will find many websites on the internet like Spotterhome, Uniplaces, Dotstay, 
uh, then home to home i can continue naming italian short rent uh, the best rent for example and there are many others who have special offers which are mainly for expats and international students of a short term nature these websites and the offers that they bring are very handy for international students and expatriates mainly for five reasons reason number 1 these rental websites have property listings which provide a short term rental contract which is often called the contratto transitorio which can be for up to 12 or 18 months the second reason is in such type of listings the deposit that is required is also quite low often for one month often equivalent to the first month's rent which is quite handy when you are an expat or international student the third reason is that many of these websites or rental companies will charge a small booking fee or a service fee that you're uh, that you're supposed to pay up front which is a few hundred euros but if you compare it to the rental agency's fee charged by rental or real estate companies it is it is nothing compared to that it's it's way more cheap the fourth reason also is that many of these listings will provide an all inclusive rental formula which means that the rent that you're likely to pay will cover also the utilities expenses and all the other allied things that you're likely to pay along with the rent like electricity gas uh, internet uh, cleaning service sometimes they also offer like a one time uh, payment uh, uh, to give you also bed linen towels and other necessary things that you need in the apartment the final reason is that uh, since these websites uh, work privately with the landlords they have often visited the apartment that they're listing on the website so it is visited and verified by these service providers which means that you can be sure that the apartment will be exactly uh, as it was in in the advertisement as it was in the apartment listing on these websites and if there is a problem upon check in related to anything you can always uh, uh, complain or report it to the website owner or the website managers who will vouch for you who will support you in solving the issues all you always have someone to look up to the other medium which is quite expat friendly and international student friendly are the student residences some of the student residences are owned by or affiliated to certain universities so you can access them only if you're going to be enrolled in a particular academic establishment but there are many others which are often private which are open to even young workers and expatriates and also to students coming from any type of university there are a few establishments like this in milan who often offer a short term rental solution and often in an all inclusive rental formula To name a few, there is Nino Residence, Residenza Dergano, uh, Porta Volta, Chiara Alba. Uh, then there is also uh, the Camp Luz network of residences. You can also access the residences offered by a group called Fondazione Rui and several others. You will find that many of these student and expat residences often have their rental listings on these websites that we discussed about before, like Spot a Home and Uni Places, etc. but you can always try to contact the residents directly as well as they have their own fully functional websites and are available on phone and online to provide you the information in this case you will save on the booking fee that you are of course supposed to pay to the booking website in case you book an apartment through one of these websites and also you might get a better rental deal you might also be able to access more availabilities in case you are directly dealing with the with the student or expat residents yourself So here is an estimate of the initial expenditure that you're likely to incur when you're going to book or reserve an apartment or upon check-in. The four components are going to be the first month's rent of course which is sometimes payable upon reservation sometimes it's payable upon check-in. The second component is the deposit. In short term rental solutions the deposit is low usually uh, first month's equivalent to first month's rent in some long term rental contracts it can be for a couple of months this will depend on the type of contract that you're taking the third component could be a one time payment that you do for the initial and the final cleaning service of the apartment which has become quite important uh, given the covid situation as well and also it may include some services uh some things that they give you like bed linen towels uh, drapes um, kitchen ware utensils and so on to use in the apartment and then the final component will be the booking fee so if you're booking the the apartment through a website like spot a home uni places or those that we saw before then they might
might have a little booking fee which is also a one time payment usually like a non refundable one which is also something that you're going to pay uh, in the beginning either at booking or upon check in but usually the booking fee is charged upon uh, Uh, reservation or booking so these are the four components of the initial one time expenditure that you will incur when you're taking an apartment then of course the monthly cost of living will be your rent and utilities that you will pay usually in the beginning or at the end of every month so i hope you like watching this video and it was useful for you in helping you to find your dream place in milan and if you like did share it love it give a thumbs up uh, do subscribe to my channel good morning expat and uh, keep watching guys thank you so much and then uh, the last component uh, of course is going to be what is the last component no, stop <laughs> these are the three components <laughs> what is the last component okay the booking fee uh,